all right so we're back with a build review and some gameplay of the one and only get to the top this beast of a tank the one and only so let's get right into it so for the build of the chopper it's definitely one of the best frontline tanks the tankiest of the tanks per se currently uh in the arsenal of the alpha play test of project cold war or project cw so let's get right into the build so normally you are able to build this thing in multiple ways you can build it more into just the health or more into ramming a lot of people prefer building it into the ram damage but i prefer building the tank more into its hp and more into a little bit of the uh its, its ability to move around quickly now so for the first slot i take the suspension for the plus 10 percent uh, traverse speed plus eight percent base speed it makes it where you're able to move around more uh be more nimble per se for how big this tank is now if you want you are able to build into the cider for a plus 100 percent armor but with how the build is for the heal you don't really need the extra 100 100 hit points you have the tra traverse uh sorry the traverse speed of the tra of the base tank itself and the base acceleration which i think is good enough on its own now for slot two i go with base acceleration and sprint acceleration which just makes it where this tank is more ability to escape certain situations if it needs to as you'll be seeing in the replay i'll be showing uh after we're done with the build now if you want you are able to build into gun damage if you like you're able to do that or if you want to build more into the air gunship you're also able to do that more as well but the way i have this thing built it's more meant to be on the field itself more of like a more of a presence and not more using its special abilities but everyone has their own build so you guys can build it however you wish if you guys want to comment your own builds i'd also appreciate it as well since this is a alpha test i'm always curious how you guys also build your builds for the chopper as well so in slot three i do do the hit points uh for module uh for the upgrade slot three it also does a nice little he damage reduction and reduces damage from abilities by 35 percent so say someone has an ac 130 hitting you you're gonna take 35 percent damage which which is pretty nice it's pretty nice i do like that a lot you could also do the reticle size or aiming speed or the airship gun cost being lower but i prefer having the little extra 150 points and the uh reduction of uh damage in slot four i go with tracks to make it where i go quicker by 5.4 percent which it adds up over time so normally that's how i do it now you could do smoke screen uh cost reduction by 10 you can do that one as well if you want to rely more on smokes but i feel like it already has enough abilities with it you don't really need it that much and i haven't really had an that much issue with this tank running out of her having an issue with crews so normally i don't really i don't think this is really necessary but if you are doing a build more built toward the actual abilities then i would definitely say uh go for this one because you get the extra re re uh energy regeneration and the extra energy points so i'll definitely say do that if you are particularly building for the abilities now in slot five i do the running wheels most of the time when i do these kind of abilities i'm not going for the, tra the traverse speed itself i'm going more for the base acceleration because the quicker you can get to top speed well you know the better you're gonna be able to move around in situations you are able to also build more into hit points here um if you are wanting to do that or in reduce also reduces the fire damage but again i haven't really had that much issue of being caught fire normally if you're being caught on fire that means you're showing your ass to the enemy which means you kind of deserve to get killed at that point so i also haven't had an issue of the shells being too slow so i don't really think that's necessary either in slot six i do the uh transmission now a lot of people do take the minesweeper they do a lot of people do because they want to ram now this this tank can do really good with ramming it can 
but I prefer to have this because it makes it where your repair kit cooldown is by 10 seconds. So you get your repair quicker by 10 seconds, which is really, really important for a litter skill that I'll be showing. Um, it, this pairs perfectly with it, which is why I take this. Now, the you do get go quicker by 5.4 kilometers, which adds up. And you have a traverse speed of plus 10%, which is very nice as well. You could do the airship gun, uh, air gunship damage. So if you want to focus more on your ability with the gunship, this is what you would take instead. But again, since I'm going more for a tank slash heal build, uh, that's why I built that one instead. Now in slot seven, I do the blow off panels, which give me a plus 100 hit points and incoming crit damage and ammo rack is reduced by 25%. So if I ever am showing my rear turret to an enemy and they crit me, they do a lot less damage, which is uh, really nice. Now, if you're trying to focus more on gun damage, of course, you can take the Sabbat round. You can take that one instead. And if you're also trying to increase your turret traverse speed, you can also take this instead. But again, I'm going for a more tank slash heal build. So particularly, I just want to build with the extra hit points and trying to reduce the extra damage coming in. Now, right here, I have the space side armor, which gives me a plus 150 hit points uh, and makes it where if someone rams my side, I get protection by 30%, which is very, very nice. This one was actually a really tough one for me to pick because I was really wanting to pick the reticle size, uh, little perks here i was really 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 wanting to pick that because it also makes it where uh last shot when you're below 30 percent health like 40 percent health it makes it where you have improved stabilization by 10 percent so it means the lower health you will once you're below 40 percent you have a nice uh, little buff to your aiming but i i just wanted the extra hit points here that's like the main reason but sooner or later i'll probably switch between this one and this one in case now, you can build into extra energy points, which if you are going for abilities, you would definitely want to do that. But since I'm going for a heal, that's why I'm doing that one. Now, in slot 9, I go for energy regeneration. I would go for... I was actually trying to figure this one out. So, for spawning angle, you can do this one. Thermal tracks of all vehicles from a visible and sniper view, which is very nice. Uh, now, I would go for reduces reload by 25% when ta tank has less than 20%. You're not trying to be that low health, but it does happen. It does. But since I really didn't max more than anything else, this is the only time I believe that I built toward the energy skill itself. Since I'm trying to get more of a smoke using more smoke in use of the uh, AC-130 normally if I do. But if I, I... I'm probably going to be switching between this one and this one in particularly. The reload boost and the energy re re regeneration. Because I kind of feel like if you're going to go for one, you just need to go all the way. And if you're going to go for that, you got to go all the way as well. You can't... Like, you can mix and match, but if you're trying to build it a certain way to maximize those particular things. Now for slot 10, the final one, I build it for, of course, the base speed. Uh, some people will probably want to get the roadie for the extra damage from that, or this here for the extra speed run. But it, uh, again, 20, it's negative 250 hit points. I don't want to risk that. I don't want to take off that much hit points from my tank. So this was a no go for me. Uh, here you can do extra energy points, but it reduces your base acceleration, which, yeah, I want to be able to move around really quickly and help out my team. Main reason why I do that. I want to be very mobile, very tanky tank. So that's why I went with the turbines here. Now, if you do get hit in the engine, you do take a 25% incoming crit damage, which is never fun. But the way that you're trying to play you're not really gonna have too much issue with that but if you do then rip to you but it does make it where you have a plus 25 percent sprint acceleration a negative 20 percent sprint energy cost so you can use 20 you can use your sprint 20 percent longer and your base acceleration is 10 percent. so you just go really really quick now for the consumables i go with the universal repair of course it makes it where you can recover Instantly recovers 500 vehicle HP over 10 seconds. 
of course, 50 uh, for the 60 second cooldown. Now, since you're building into this, you're going to be able to do more than 500. It says it's doing 500, but it's doing way more than that, as you'll see in the match. Now, for, of course, energy booster is going to be a must for this thing because of how expensive these abilities are. You need to take the energy booster for that extra energy points to be able to use those abilities. Definitely a must on this. Uh, I also take the stim pack uh, for the increased reload time and by 5%. Make sure you have a little bit more DPM of the tank. Now in slot one, I go with the improved gun stabilization by 15% when traversing the turret. You are definitely going to be wanting to have that for the extra, uh, extra accuracy. You could also go with increased tank reverse speed by two kilometers. I've seen a lot of a lot of choppers building into the reverse speed uh for if they're just bow if they're if they're front in to uh to someone or the, pretty much the enemy team they pretty much just are able to reverse really quickly reverse out of situations but for me i don't really want that i want more of a stabilization for the accuracy now this is the this was the ability i was just talking about earlier where this boosts your repair kit for an extra 5 HP per second which really builds up it also increases your repair duration by 5 seconds and reduces the repair kit cooldown by 10 seconds this is a must if you're trying to build more into your tankiness slash uh, your uh, repair ability this is like really really good for that now this does reduce track and engine repair time at 25% for this one and it get it, now this one improves your ramming so if you're trying to do ramming speed or you know going for rams this one's what you want to do with this one and also combine it uh where is it you also want to combine it with uh this one here the mcbs for the minesweeper combine it with that to get that extra ramming damage which can be a lot of fun for sure i see a lot of divs of people doing that it could be a lot of fun to do now the final one that i take again is improved gun acceleration when shooting on the move by 15 percent since you're going to be doing a lot of moving definitely worth taking this one you can do this one to passively reduce fire duration by two seconds but again i don't really get caught on fire very often so i don't really see a plan doing that um, and of course, the widened spotting angle by 45 degrees reduces the spotting range by 150 and increases the time the enemies stay detected on radar by one second. Pretty much if you're taking... I forgot if it's in here. There should be a radar skill somewhere where that's where that's for. But anywho, that is my build for the chopper. If you guys have any questions about it, let me know in the, down, in the comments down below. But uh, anywho, uh, let us hop over to the replay. And I can the talk to you about the play us. style of uh, the chopper. Well, right now, the place. chopper is what definitely one of the now. best, just pretty much tank, just tankiest tank. It is what definitely one of the best tankiest tanks at this point. Besides the one you can get from doing certain missions, uh, the Adam. The Adam's definitely the tankiest tank in the game at this point, besides the chopper, in my opinion. Uh, but you can only get the Adam from the available trophy road, so if you can complete that, then you'll be able to get uh, the Adam, which is by far the tankiest tank, which I'll be getting that sooner or later, so I'll be currently grinding that. But with all of its abilities to heal, the abilities of this thing, the skill, this thing is definitely one of the best tanks for just defending an area or just pretty much being a roadblock for the enemy team in my opinion it's also a lot of fun to play there's so many different play styles with the thing that it's a lot of it's just a lot of fun a lot of diversity in what you can do as you can see there i did get sniped from the middle there and let's give that he did ricochet walk. trying to aim at this thing from the front is really hard to actually hit Strategic location under but control. one thing is super fun it is fun to just take the ac 130 it is so much fun pretty much i was just doing the meme every time maybe ac 130 above anytime i took this thing out or had one fighting i had to fight one that was doing it so you can definitely see the potential of building this thing into its into its abilities, like focusing on the AC-130 ability or the minigun. It just has you just have so much potential with it, and it can be just a devastating 
uh, tank to deal with if you build into that. Now, if you do do that, you're not going to have as much tanking ability. And look at and look at this Stick mini gun. Just huh? Jesus, aim for the track. Now here, I'm aiming for the tracks to make it where he can't move. Track took a beating. Oh lord! And, and look at him. This dude came up behind me, tried to kill me. I popped my heel, and uh, nope, he wasn't able to. And I ran not him here scratch. too to make sure he couldn't really get away from me here. And, and I just started reversing, going around, and. Yep, I shot him again and just kept on reversing around. I, and yep, I pop my smoke screen as well and just keep on reversing. But as you can see, I get my heal back really quick. And just look how much this thing heals when you do it. It's actually, it's a lot of health. See, look at that. It goes all the way back up to over 2,000. It's, it's incredible when you build it this way. It just makes you into a pretty much a... I don't even know how to word it here. Like, it un it's not unkillable, but it definitely makes it where... Oh, it wasn't 2000, 1900. Oh, dang, my bad. But yeah, it just makes you so unkillable. But yep, right here, you see, I'm like, all right, I'm out. And this is where this speed, the speed build I have comes in handy. Just look at my ability to be able to zoom out of there, escape that situation. Because if I was slower, I would definitely have not gotten away from that. I would have gotten killed. But I was able to get out of that situation, live, help out my teammate, and now I get to use my AC-130 onto this chopper and have my fun with him. Now, I should have popped my heal during this. That was one mistake that I saw I made. I should have definitely popped my heal, so at least it would be on cooldown while I was just doing this, but that is a rip on my part. And of course, I missed a shot there. That's definitely just a skill issue. Yep. Big old skill. So now he tries to get away, but I'm not going to let it have it. And he's right there. And of course, I messed up the shot. And I also side grazed him with the ram. Pretty nice. And he does have a screen protection on him. And yep, I do a little bit of ram there. A nice little, nice little touch there. Very nice. And I go back into my little hidey hole. Back to my realm of my domain, my protective domain. But yeah, so far we're doing pretty good. Um, I don't... <laughs> this dude literally was just trying to shoot someone in. Uh, yep. <laughs> he, uh, he went on a journey. He had a fun time there. <laughs> uh, good time, good times. So at this point, the team is doing pretty good. And I do see that D, D is having some issues down there. So I enter my AC-130 mode and start just uh, raining down hell to push some pressure on them so they can't really move around that much. And I do see a little bit more of a squishy target right there. So I go for him instead. Ooh, with 300 damage there. Oof, that is uh, not good. And uh, yeah, I realized I was also getting shot from behind during that instance, but uh, luckily he didn't hit, he didn't do any, and yep, since we had a cap the whole time, pretty much just like, yep, we're bombing the area, so they pretty much forced us out of there, so rip us, I guess. Now, I did not wait. I was still moving when I shot that, and that was why I did like literally nothing. Now, I should have definitely aim for the other dude. I don't know why I did. That was a pretty dumb move. You always want to go for the lowest health target so that your team is able to I'm have less guns killing. aiming at them. I'm proud of doing this for the Because I could have killed him with a minigun and then killed the other guy with a gun, but that's more of a skill issue on my part. Yeah, and this is someone that was inexperienced with the rocket guy. Um, he, the, the thing about the, that rocket guy, which I'll be doing a video on, you have to either be downhill from him to be able to do full utility of the rockets, or you have to Wounded them. be, pretty much you have to aim at a, a higher profile tank. And me not being used to this map, I'm like, oh, well, I guess I can't go up here then, so I gotta go somewhere else because I want to go back and defend A. A and D, because they're back at D, and yep, as you can see, there is so many of them over there. So many of them. And I take uh, a little bit too long. I don't even know why I'm waiting that long. I should have shot on Wasteander, but yep, I realize there's way too many of them, so I pop my 
smoke screen on my way out so i'm able to get away without dying but i do take a lot of damage along the way unfortunately i should have popped the smoke screen a little bit sooner and that's definitely more of a skill issue on my part i go back to my little hidey hole little defense area my little hidey hole I kind of sit here, heal up a little bit, grab the cab, make sure no one grabs it, and then I go back. I'm like, oh, look, another chopper. And of course, I miss my shot on him. Guys, one last yep, it looks like we are about to win. It's 1,800 to 1,000, and I go out of cover so he can't shoot me, and I go right back into my AC-130, and I start just having a ball while I'm going to start tearing him up. Now, of course, this is going to kill him, but this is definitely going to put a lot of pressure on him. I aim for his tracks, try and knock out his tracks, make it where he can't really move around that much. Normally, if you're firing a fast-firing tank or gun, normally, or like AC-130 or a missile or anything like that, you're trying to knock out their, tur their engine or their tracks so they can't really move around that much. They've got no wheels left to roll. Yep, and this poor guy in for the engine do a nice little crit damage there on his bum, the bum. But yep, uh, that is going to be it. If you guys have any questions or concerns on the United choppers, definitely let me know in the comments ever. down below. This is Overlord Bo. Thank y'all for watching, and I will talk to y'all later.